wrap this up today with a little discussion on what can be done. Let's uh, talk about what America can do to get itself back on its feet. The first thing that has to be done is to not accept debt forgiveness. To do an Andrew Jackson and just tell all these penny pension Republican types, their banks, their Wall Street, their corporations, we don't owe you a thing. In fact, you owe us, and you owe us big. It is only through willful and purposeful mismanagement of our funds that we are in such great debt right now. And it's because of people like the Republicans who are constantly shoveling money out of this country into foreign countries. They say it's American goodwill and all that. No, it's cheap labor. And that's all they care about because they are the cheapest pieces of garbage that ever lived. How they ended up in power in this country, well, they made money God. And then they just keep all the money to themselves. And this can be seen over and over again. First thing that America could do is get its farming back. We're going to have to feed ourselves, people. And this they've tried to take away from us. All the spraying in the sky. The Romans used to go in and salt the fields. Believe me, the electroconductivity of your soil has increased a hundredfold. This makes it so that only genetically modified plants can really do business there anymore. And guess who owns the patents on all that seed material? Guess! Same people that are trying to take over water right now. If you can't see the concerted effort to take away your food, you better. You better wake up right now. So food and farming is the big one. They've tried to control it and they've tried to take it away. They talked to all the people in the Midwest, the farmers who had those farms for generations. They talked them into financing uh, new new machines and all kinds of improvements, technological this and that and the other thing, when the other processes were just fine. But they blew smoke at them and talked them into taking big loans. Then they legislated so that the farmer c could not sell his crop at the end of the year. And so they defaulted on all those loans. And guess who ended up with all of that farmland? That's right, Monsanto and its army of zombies okay that's who it is Monsanto the same people that got all their money initially uh, dealing in slaves down around New Orleans I think it was yeah so you know slaves serve your masters it's right in the, the uh, Baptist Bible the Christian Bible and believe me I don't adhere to that at all um, they haven't come up with an American Bible although Thomas Jefferson did have the Jefferson Bible but I don't care for any of that Semitic stuff I don't come from the desert I come from the forest so we have to get our ideas back in line with who we are what we are where we came from quit borrowing quit borrowing religion quit borrowing ideology quit borrowing philosophy quit borrowing we need our money back we need our Congress in charge of making our money and we need to make sure that they're not a bunch of Republican cheapskates who are fronted for the banks in London and Tel Aviv okay oops I said Tel Aviv I can't believe I said that oh 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 I'm gonna die anyway everyone knows about you assholes now oh my god I said assholes too anyway this one's getting out of hand I'm getting beside myself get hemp re-legalized become a self-sufficient nation as far as farming is concerned get all the bad people out of your government get your money back that's the first thing you can do then the space program believe me we don't need to do all this rip roaring mining down here on the surface of the planet because there's just huge huge chunks that can be parachuted back through the atmosphere into the ocean and retrieve robotically huge chunks of any kind of metal you want um, wire your house with platinum gold silver the most uh, efficient um, and then this wireless energy that boy George said was going to be our prosperity you know that's all mind control that's causing bipolar disorders in intestine um, distress intestinal distress uh, IG disorders of all kinds you know it's all these new diseases and things are made diseases it's just like the stem cell issue you know fetal stem cells are just a small portion of the overall problem or, or, or source of stem cells it's not a problem stem cells are good technology um, they made it a big deal because uh, some of them are gotten from fetal tissues and it seems like they're trying to produce fetal tissues for this and of course the ghouls that are in charge to do it but let me tell you about the ghouls 90 percent of stem cells and all the odd cells that are used to make longevity drugs for the elite come from cancer tumors same kind of cancers that grow from 
shooting people up with, you know, polio vaccines that were grown on monkey kidneys and things like that. Uh, when you have a cancer tumor cut off you, it's immediately collected, frozen, and sent to what's called a tumor bank, okay? So, there's the truth behind stem cells. They've been using you to grow a harvest of cancers so that they can derive their drugs from your suffering. And God help you if you ever need any of those drugs because it's going to cost you more than it did to get the cancer tumor removed. Look it up. It's a matter of uh, patent information. There's, I went and looked up um, cancer stem cell or stem cell tumors. Uh, look up cancer ba or tumor banks um, and look it up in the patent information and you'll have so many results you won't be able to, you just won't be able to imagine what's been going on. So stem cells from fetus tissue, fetal tissue is not uh, near the problem that, and I think that the fetal issue was just a cover so that people wouldn't discover that all these cancers that they're growing for the world's elite to make longevity drugs from. And guess who can only afford those longevity drugs? Uh, so anyway, technology is a good thing to get into. But the space uh, initiative, the reason that this hasn't been done, though, is because it will pull the rug out from under all the world's money because the world's money is just smoke and mirrors and paper. And, you know, it's not based on metal. You have all these guys buying gold at 1200 13 whatever. God, I don't know, $2,000, $3,000 an ounce. They're talking about $10,000 an ounce. They're idiots. They're total idiots, you know. Uh, but that's okay. Let them be because they're probably all Republicans and they're just so scared of losing their little bit of cash that they got. You know, they don't want to give it away. They don't want to spend it. They want to, you know, I just wish you guys could eat it. I wish you guys could do something with it, you know, but whatever. You know, I, I really, I don't feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you. I never feel sorry for you because you are the most unhappiest bunch of people in the world. And I'm kind of glad about that. I hope you stay that way.